I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from one of our subscribers, Anil Shah. Shah, thanks a lot for posting this question and having patience to wait for the solution. I hope this solution will help many other students. The question here is, a fair die is tossed eight times. Find the probability that on the eighth throw, a third six is observed. Right. So basically we have eight tosses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The question says that on the eighth toss, we have a six and that two, third six. So that is the question. Now it also means that in the first seven throws, there were two sixes, right? So two sixes in seventh row. Now since we have a very fair die, it really means that probability of getting a six is one out of six and probability of not getting a six, let's say not getting a six, is five out of six. Right? And this probability is not going to change during our experiment. So we can say that the success here is P and the probability for failure is Q. Right? Now in the first seven throws, we are really not bothered whether these first two are sixes or any combination, right? So we want two sixes in first seven throws, right? And, let me write, and, 6 on 8th throw. Correct? So, and means we'll multiply. 6 on the 8th throw, the probability of getting 6 here is 1 out of 6, is 1 out of 6. Correct? Now, 2 sixes in the first 7 throws. What is the probability of that? So you can use the knowledge of binomial distribution which you learn. So out of seven throws, we want two sixes, right? So the success probability P is one over six, power of two times failure probability, not getting a six is five, right? So out of seven places, two, any two, we are looking forward for six, right? So that becomes the probability of getting six, two sixes in first seven throws. And probability of getting six on the eighth throw is one out of six. So multiplying everything is our answer. Does make sense to you, right? So this is what we have to calculate. So let's find this out. So we have seven C2, which is 21 times within brackets, one divided by six, whole square, within brackets, five divided by six to the power of five. And we are going to multiply this by one over six, right? So times one divided by six, or just divided by six, is equal to, what we get here is 0 0.039, correct? or we can write this as 3.9%. So that becomes the solution for this question. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, share my videos with your friends, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.